welcome back to another episode of the Muscle Whisperer with me Kate Brown. In this episode I'll be sharing some tips on how to prioritise treatment. I hope you enjoy and if you have any comments please leave them below. So I thought it'd be good to do an episode on what to do when a client comes to you and they've just got a really big long list of issues um, and that can be overwhelming sometimes to deal with as a therapist. Um, you want to provide them with a treatment that is fulfilling and ticking all their boxes um, but you also want to make sure that you're thinking in a clinical way and trying to uh, piece together the pieces of the puzzle to give them the best treatment. Um, so yeah, so a few tips for, for managing that. So first of all, um, gathering information. So that is the first thing. When they come in, they might have done a consultation online perhaps, or perhaps you do that in person with them. But either way, once you start speaking to them, you want to have um, that verbal to and fro, where you're learning as much information as you can about what's going on. Um, and this isn't just uh, what is said, you can also um, take note of their body language, of their posture, what does that tell you? Um, in a more formal way, you can also do postural assessment or muscle testing to learn uh, more about the body and uh, what it's doing at the moment. So that is the first thing, just gather as much information as possible. Uh, the second thing is to agree a priority with your client because they've got all of these issues, you can't work on them all in one session um, and you want to agree what are those things that are bothering them the most that you can focus on within this session. Um, and then once you've done that, you just want to set uh, some expectations. So you want to let them know that uh, you're going to work on these issues and if you have time, you'll work with X, Y, and Z, whatever else. Um, but it's important to let them know uh, maybe that they've got so many things going on that it's not possible to do it all in just one treatment and that probably coming back for a course of treatment might be better or perhaps uh, having another therapy in conjunction with the massage therapy would help them um, most but you can judge that on a case-by-case -case basis. Um, so once you've done that uh, you can provide the treatment to them um, and send them away with any aftercare or home care that you feel is suitable. And then comes the real treatment planning. This is where you have space uh, without the client present that you can reflect on the treatment, reflect on all the information you've gathered and put together a proper treatment plan. Um, so this is great. This is where your mind really has time to simulate everything um, and put together the best plan that you can do for them. So then when they come back in for the next session, you can explain your findings, explain what you've put together and let them know that this can evolve and is flexible, but this is where you've got to for now. Uh, and with that information, you should be able to sort of judge with how many sessions you'd initially say um, you can sort of do this work in. So um, I hope that's helpful to you and um, give you a bit more structure to when you have those moments of overwhelm and you've just got a million things to think about. So first of all, gather your information. Uh, second of all, uh, agree a priority, then set expectations, and then afterwards you can reflect and plan the treatment properly. So I hope that's helpful. If there's anything that you'd like me to uh, discuss in future videos, then please let me know and I will put something together for you. If you have any questions, then please leave them in the comments and I'll answer them as soon as I can. If you enjoyed today's video, then please like, share and subscribe. We look forward to seeing you again soon.